nighttime battle robes. Are you ready? Back straight, knees bent. Begin. Face yourself. Nice job. Hi. Welcome to Can a Spader Christmas. Okay, it's March, and the display gets turned off the first Saturday in January. And I still have props laying around. Now, some of you in the northern latitudes where your display is covered by a blanket of snow or encased in ice totally understand that it's still set up. I really have no excuse. But with this prop, I really don't have a place to put it. And that is another part of prop design is, well, where are you going to put it when it's done? The reason being is there's 15 foot pole here, so I'm going to take care of that in this episode. But first, I need to disassemble this one. To avoid getting a ladder and climbing up there and measuring, I have a 10 foot piece of EMT, uh, 3 quarter inch if you are interested. And I'm just sticking it up to the top there so I can measure 10 feet down from the top. And I'll remember this location and measure with a tape measure. So to this point is 82 inches, uh, two inches shy of 17 or seven feet. So 17 feet all the way up and down. So I'll probably go 16 um, because I want to leave some room at the bottom. Now granted, we had a 75 degree day out here a couple of days ago and it is today in the mid 40s. So hopefully that's why I didn't want to spend a lot of time out here dealing with all this wind and cold air so i'm done out here now we'll go inside and figure out what's going on so i cut a couple of pieces of this uh, emt off and for this one i used a very precise measurement of my hand went like that and then for i also got two smaller ones um that are about that big. So the, oh, let me show two of them. The first one is about 232 millimeters or roughly nine inches. The other one is 400 or 115 millimeters at about four and a half inches. And so I've got these two that will go into this 
thing because I'm going to put it on the corner and so I want one strip on one side and one strip on the other. And then this one I'll just I'll have one strip on either side but this is going up against the wall so I want both of them just coming down this way. I've got these two pieces of strip that I want to join together and there's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, you can try welding it with a low uh, heat soldering iron. Um, I'm actually going to create a sandwich because when you weld stuff you kind of need some something to put into the gap and I don't really have anything that I want to melt that much. I'm going to take another piece of strip and put it on top and I'll try and show you that. Off just a little. a generous amount of hot glue. Okay, so I've got this string uh, welded together. So it's a single string of 100 pixels. And then coming out with a standard output connector. And then I have another string right here uh, that is not welded, but it, it's off that same prop. And so I need to basically extend this end. I think this is... Uh, about 24 feet and I need about 32. So I need to basically do this. Hook that together like that. Now, these both have pigtails on them and you think, oh, why don't we just connect these together? Well, I could, um, but I'm going to actually cut them and just solder them together since I'm going to go ahead and hook this together like this anyway. So uh, let's shut this off and I will start connecting these two together. Okay, so that's how much wire that I need from these two pigtails. So I'll just cut a little bit extra for the soldering. There we go. I will connect this together. We are now at the point where we have 132 pixels in one string. Actually, I have two strings of 132 pixels. So we need to find the midpoint and cut there. Now, I could just put the two ends together and find the midpoint, but you know, what's the fun in that? 
so we'll let the pixels tell me where the middle point is now in order to do that 132 half of that is Hey Siri, what's half of 132? 1 divided by 2 times 132 is 66. 66 pixels. So we have to set the controller. Let me well let me put this in run mode first off. Then I will what go to the string ports page. And it's 132, so I will change that to 66 and save it and go back to test mode. So now only half of them are lit. So these work, that's where the midpoint is interestingly enough right where this wire tie is so i want to cut the strip and not the wire <laughs> watch me cut the wire okay strip is cut so now we have two strips of 66 that we can hang on our little hangers. And so the whole reason for changing this out, taking it off the pole, is because I can wrap it up and put it in a trash bag for storage and throw it up in the attic. Whereas a 15 foot pole is a little harder, A, to get up in the attic, and B, just to find room for it. So now we just need to attach this somehow to this so that it just hangs there. Well, the pixels hang there. Fortunately, I have a bunch of this. I have a longer strip. So the idea is I will put something around it like that and then I will attach it like that and that way it'll just hang from the pipe. Piece of cake, right? Now I know you're thinking, Jeff, that seems like a lot of work for an extra foot of pixels. Well, that's it's actually more than that because I was probably up about three feet from the base and six to eight inches from the top. So um, there's, there's going to be more pixels. Well, there's going to be longer a longer string of pixels. Anyway, I'll be able to store them. Starting with four strips, about seven and a half inches or 190 millimeters long. Uh, and this is, can you see this? This is three quarter inch pipe and I will zoom out. So I cut this a little long so that this part would be flat because that's where I'm going to slide the pixels in. And we'll make a little sandwich, something like that. This, these holes don't have to match up, it's okay. We'll go through that hole. Well, go through that one first, then this one, then this one, and tie them all together. Same thing over here. So this one will fit in this pipe just fine and it'll fit on this corner piece as well. So I'll do this three more times and we should be done. There they are. <laughs> so those ought to fit. Uh, the, these two strings are ready to go in a trash bag and into storage. Very excited about that to get those out of the yard there. 
And so that's about it for this week. I hope you found some of this information useful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Now, I shot an email. Game, game. So I got six of these, and so they. I got five.